Let's bring this up to the dais for comments from the elected officials. And Commissioner Williams, if you can hear me, if you'd like to make some comments. Yes, I am ready. So Please. I really want to, I really appreciate um, honoring our public health department. You know, this, when I first came in a, as a commissioner, it seemed like we went over to the health department for our introduction. They did a lot of programs. It was fascinating. Um, and their biggest issue was a hepatitis A outbreak amongst the homeless. And they were spending a lot of time out in homeless communities, making sure that they were vaccinated against hepatitis A. Um, and then, of course, we were hit with the 100-year uh, pandemic, and we'd never been, none of us had ever been through a pandemic before. Uh, many of the laws in place, I feel, were still left over from the last 100-year pandemic in 1919, and so it became um, quite a problem for us. I'd like to thank our health department especially, but I want to take a, a moment to thank some members of our community. We worked with the Office of Emergency Management, the United Way, the Chambers of Commerce, the Monument City Council, the Fountain, Town, Fountain Council, um, many other individuals. Um, we've also worked with um, our city council and they've had an awesome response and we've also worked very closely with our Mayor John Southers. I really appreciate the perseverance though of our own staff. And it's a long list, just even the senior staff. Lori Siegel, Diana May, Leon Kelly, Robin Johnson, um, our, public, our public information office, Ryan Parcell, Natalie Sosa, and M Michelle Hewitt, Deanne Ryberg, um, our hospitals, the UCCS College of Nursing um, stepped up. And also Kenny Hodges did great work as um, working with our health department. I will say we've had anger, tears, harsh words, um, and exceptional frustration, sometimes with our governor, sometimes with our state legislature, uh, recently introducing a bill trying to remove commissioner powers from um, the Department of Health. And that's been frustrating because while the Department of Health sees the medical side of the community, commissioners are elected to see the economic side of the community. Um, we spent a lot of time crying with businessmen and fathers who weren't getting their weddings for their beautiful daughters. Um, but most importantly, the public health employees, um, a group of such hardworking individuals who have put up with a lot um, from people calling to complain. We went from probably, you know, a few phone calls a day to a gazillion phone calls a day, and many of them were angry. And um, they worked really hard to learn and to be patient with our public giving answers as quickly as possible. And um, I just wanted to say, kind of borrowing from a business I was able to tour last week, they've had a stellar response. Uh, they have had, they have treated this response with great attitude, but also great altitude, showing that we can reach new heights um, no matter what the circumstances. So thank you to our public health department employees. We look forward to working out of this process and working into different um, items of public health that we need to in the future. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Geithner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to say a huge thank you to all the work that has, has gone into this. Um, Susan had so many great words for all the things that I know that you guys have gone through and experienced. I think that um, there has been a lot of uh, conversation and, and maybe political pressure that has has come down and created so many of these letters and phone calls and so many things that you guys have had to deal with that um, are, are maybe not uh, maybe not typical. And I just appreciate the handling of that with grace um, and and just acknowledging the kind of stress that that puts on all of you and really appreciate the hard work. But I also want to Specifically, thank you for your holistic approach, um, for realizing that there is no one size fits all for our community. 
um, and, and working hard to inform people but work with them, understanding where they are coming from as we were talking about our businesses that we're struggling and most specifically um, after our conversation last week with, with charter schools and understanding what they are going through. It is evident, uh, and, and I received incredible feedback from that group, that they know that you care and that you are looking for ways to work together to, to get everyone through this situation in the best way possible. And that is completely invaluable to have that kind of a relationship um, with our community and for them to have that, uh, that trust in, in, in uh, public health. So thank you so much for all the hard work for all of your employees um, and all those who are, are working to move our community forward. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Commissioner Gonzalez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I too want to thank all the health professionals and uh, the health service uh, workers, uh, all the great work they've done in a very, very difficult year, and to our public, local public health, uh, all the great work you've been doing, and your staff, and uh, every, from top to bottom, it has been so professional, and the work they've been doing, uh, going above and beyond to help our uh, county residents. Uh, I've been lucky enough to have been a member of the uh, Board of Health for uh, my first four years as a commissioner and, and continuing uh, even now and, and have gotten to see uh, up close at the great work and the professionalism that they do uh, for our community. And again, I just wanna thank you for that. It's, it's been wondering, wonderful to see that uh, in a very difficult year and, and to know all the countless lives that you've saved because of that hard work and professionalism and expertise. Thank you. And Commissioner Bremer. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I am pretty sure I've said this before, um, but it can never be said enough because quite frankly, the words, words don't cover the thank yous. And I'm so glad that even nationally this week is set aside to think and bring attention to the work of public health and what it is you do on a day in, day out basis, um, notwithstanding a hundred year pandemic. Um, so, uh, we are incredibly grateful for, as Commissioner Geithner said, the way in which um, all of our public health staff has, has really stepped up um, and responded in a way that we're just so fortunate to have here in El Paso County. Um, you know, the theme this year, as um, Deanne said, is, is building bridges, and Commissioner Williams gave a great, um, a pretty exhaustive and extensive list of some of some of those bridges that have been built, some of those partnerships. I wanted to point out a couple of others that um, maybe weren't on that really good list. It was like checking them off as you said them, Commissioner Williams. Um, but you know, a lot of the partnerships we looked, um, you all as staff looked outside the normal. Your, your normal walls and the normal partnerships that you have with, with hospitals, you strengthened those. You strengthened the ones that, that kind of already existed, but you looked outside the box a little bit um, to figure out other places to partner. Um, and you did it in such a, such a creative and swift way. And um, I think it allowed, it allowed this community to really, um, to really thrive and everyone come to your help um, in helping get out messages. So one of those that comes to mind to me is the, the partnership with the mass campaign with the Colorado Springs Conservatory, um, their TikTok videos and um, all kinds of things there. But the other group um, that, uh, you know, Commissioner Gonzalez and I represent here is, um, is the Board of Health, the local Board of Health. Um, and, uh, I am very, I'm honored to serve with the people we do there, and I hope that um, our guidance um, has, has provided you all as staff members with, um, with a pretty global picture. And I'm just so proud to be a part of that very diverse Board of Health, and I'm proud of how um, all the public health staff um, took input from all kinds of different points of view with that. Um, and again, uh, handled it with such grace um, that I couldn't be prouder of. Um, you know, I think um, this proclamation, it's not just for the extra work that I 
pandemic required in 2020 and 2021. Um, it's for the work you do every day. Um, and to have kept up um, with the majority of that or known when and how to pivot in a way that wouldn't take needed services away from our community members is just stellar. Um, and the other partnership opportunity um, I missed, sorry, was um, all of those who came to us uh, to request variances and went through the very difficult process. And I watched as you took each one and worked alongside um, you know, business owners or key industry leaders um, to make sure they had all the information, tools, and resources they needed, and you had all of the information to go and advocate on their behalf um, on what they could safely do. Um, that is a huge piece of the building bridges. Um, and again, just so so grateful for how you all do it. Um, I think Susan said in her comment something about um, how her staff goes above and beyond. Um, and that's absolutely true. And they do that because they see their leaders um, doing so as well. So all of you in, in management at the health department, um, you're inspiring. You're inspiring to your staff. Um, honestly, you're inspiring to me and I think to many community members too, per the emails um, that you're now receiving. I'm glad they've taken a positive tone. Um, and on that note, uh, going the extra mile, I, um, I know that there are some tea lovers over at the Department of Health if you're ever all in the same building again. Um, but uh, I also, uh, there's, a, there's a, a yard of tea sitting there for you all. Um, and with a thank you for going the extra yard. Um, and let's, let's get this over the goal line now. And um, I'm deeply appreciative. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Geithner. I appreciate the comments of all of my colleagues. And I, I would like to express my appreciation as well and just talk a little bit about the challenges that we had this last year and going on into this year. First of all, what a journey. Wow. Um, I, I think what I saw with our local El Paso County Public Health Office uh, was nothing short of remarkable. You partnered with everybody. I mean, you partnered with the city, you partnered with us, you partnered with our own facilities office to make sure that uh, citizens when they visit El Paso County offices can be safe. You partnered with nonprofits. You partnered with the state. You partnered with everybody that was willing to partner with you in order to get us through this. I'm going to make the point, I think you are the glue that held us together. A very special role that took place because of this pandemic. You know, the work that you have done is nothing short of remarkable. I just looked at your website this morning, and you have to look every day because the numbers go up fast on the number of vaccines that you administer daily. <clears throat> and so uh, the number's there, 282,000 citizens in El Paso County, 174,000, uh, 282,000 vaccines administered in total, 174,000 uh, vaccinated, 113 of them fully vaccinated. Uh, and 98 sites to administer vaccine, done in a collaboration environment that really is almost unparalleled because some of those are publicly um, administered sites and many of those are privately administered sites. We just called out all forces and you did that. You became the glue. And I appreciate um, uh, Susan, the letters that you uh, read this morning, you know, they're very uplifting and it's good to hear those things from time to time. The citizens that actually have a willingness and are willing to go far enough to write a letter to express their appreciation. That's, that's just great. And you know, I think, uh, I hope that uh, many people will actually go to the El Paso County website, maybe give you a call after this pandemic is over and learn more about what public health does for our community. 
you know, it's not just about the pandemic, of course, that's been the primary, almost the exclusive topic that everyone's been talking about. But you deal with food health, you deal with animal health, you help us deal with rabies issues, you do septic tank inspections, you deal extensively with children's health and family health, you work on immunizations of a wide variety of types. You do radon testing. You do tuberculosis screening. You test our water to ensure that our water uh, resources are safe for us to drink. There's an enormous number of things that the 200 people of El Paso County Public Health do. Sometimes you don't get enough credit for it. But that's why we're here today on Public Health Week to thank you and to express our appreciation for the hard work that you have done. I hope uh, when things settle down later on this year, and I'm very hopeful that will happen, you all get an opportunity to take a little bit of break, a little bit of a break, take a little bit of a breather, get back to your families, because we all know you've been working so hard. Get your batteries recharged, come back to the office, and get back to the business of keeping us safe in El Paso County. My hat's off to all of you for the amazing work that you've done, and this proclamation is very well deserved. Thank you so much.